Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today we'll be talking about Quinn and Williams and how he broke his foot and we'll miss some time. But before we get started today, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why if you haven't already, please make sure to check out the podcast Just Jets. And also while talking about the podcast, please subscribe to the new channel Just Jets Clips. What I'm going to be doing is taking some clips from the podcast each week and posting it on that separate channel. I know some people don't like to sit through the entire episode, so I'll take maybe like, I don't know, three clips a week. That's my goal. It could be more. It could be a little bit less. We'll see. It's in the trial stages right now and uh, put that on the separate channel. Just short, quick hitter video. So please check it out and mean a lot. So Quinn Williams broke his foot. How? We're not exactly sure, but he is going to require surgery, which means he will be out eight to 10 weeks. Now that does give him plenty of time to get healthy before the season. But unfortunately, that means he will likely miss OTAs and minicamp. Now, he'll probably be back for the preseason. The NFL hasn't come out and really given an idea of what the preseason is going to be this year. You'd imagine probably three games and in, at some point in August. So I'm not really concerned about him missing time because he should be good to go by July, you'd imagine. And then work him back slowly, get him some reps in the preseason, and he'll be good to go in the regular season. So far, Quinny Williams has been banged up a little bit. He did miss three games in his rookie year. He missed three games last year. And while he's not on track to miss any games this year, it's another injury. So is it reason to be concerned? Not yet, but it's starting to become like something you take note of. And sure, he plays a very physical position. Defensive line is extremely, extremely difficult, especially on the interior. No one's saying that it isn't a difficult position. It's, you know, they're crashing against offensive linemen every single play. So it's it's not easy. But you do have to take note of these things. And the fact that he has been banged up now for going into his third year is something that you keep in mind, but expectations are extremely high for Quinnen in 2020. And I want to see this guy on the field in a Robert Sala defense. I mean, look at what he did last year. Seven sacks, 14 quarterback hits, 10 tackles for a loss to go along with, I think, 55 tackles last year. A really, really good player who I think could be a top five interior defensive lineman if he's not already, especially in this system, because Robert Sala is going to say, hey, Quinnen, just pin your ears back and go. And that's when he's going to thrive. We know he's been good against the run. He was even his rookie year, had some work to do as a pass rusher, got significantly better in year two. And now going into year three, you would expect another little bit of a step forward. And the best part of it all is, yeah, you still have some of those good interior guys like John Franklin Myers or Phillips that you had last year. Folo Fadakasi is not really a pass rusher. He's a good run stuffing defensive tackle, but they added to it. They brought in Sheldon Rankins, who's another pass rushing interior defensive lineman. You added something on the edge. Hey, Carl Lawson and Vinnie Curry. Love that. As long as an, an uh, as well as, excuse me, another year of Bryce Huff, undrafted free agent developing. This is exciting stuff. The Jets front four should be very, very good this year. And Quinnen Williams is going to be a huge part of it. So luckily, he's not going to miss time as of right now. That could change, obviously. But I want to see this guy on the field because I think he could put up big numbers. I think both him and Carl Lawson finish with eight or more sacks. Maybe even one of them hit double digits. That might be a little bit of a stretch. Would it be surprising? No, but I don't want to put that expectation on him that he has to do it. He could still be a productive player and hit that eight sack plateau. So that'd be really solid for the New York Jets. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you worried about Quinn and Williams yet with that injury? What do you think he does this year? And are you excited to watch him? I think you should be. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Check out more Jets content here. And I'll talk to you next time.